we wanted to discuss this amazing painting that the Met has been fortunate enough to be given um, by you called Two Trees, which is a, a very, very complex composition, including these three figures divided into compartments by these two tree trunks that have a, a kind of um, almost kind of living anthropomorphic presence. But perhaps you would like to talk about this because when you visited New York recently, you described something that about the kind of narrative that exists between these three figures that took me by surprise because it was a slightly different interpretation to the one that I had given it myself. Well, the painting began, I'm not sure when, a long, a long time ago, possibly 10 years before its completion. And it started off as a painting of these two trees, which are two trees that I see from my house. I mean, not unlike that view, not quite as, yeah, I mean, it's an abstracted version of what, what I, I see. And I always wanted to have a, a grouping of figures and I tried many different variations by, you know, painting on bits of paper and hanging them up. And anyhow, I, um, so I started the painting um, in Trinidad and then I brought it to New York. And I actually, it was one of the, one of the paintings I finished in New York. And it was not long after the, um, the riots in Charlottesville. Yeah, Charlottesville. And, yeah. And that's where this sort of faux sort of military sort of sports thing happened. Um, the guy, the figure on the right. But there was a terrible incident um, in Trinidad, very close to where we live in the hills outside of Port of Spain, but on, on the coastline where there was a kind of, it was like a gang killing really. And um, I mean, known that I know saw it, although that someone, um, they had to lead the police to where the um, the victim was, and it transpired, or the story goes, or whether how much truth there is to this, I don't know. But the story was the killing was done by a seventeen-year-old boy who had to sort of was it being initiated into the gang, and so I thought about this, and um, parallel to this, I've been visiting these artists who are life prisoners on an island prison off Trinidad, Carrera it's called. And although I never speak to them about their, um, you know, why they're there, I know that they're there for, you know, an incident happened. And I, I, I sort of often think about how, you know, one's life can just change because of getting to know these guys, how one's life can change just in an instance, in a sense. And um, so to me, maybe the character in the middle has been, has committed an act that's gonna change his life in many ways. The figure on the right was, um, to me was complicit in the act because he's filming it. And um, yeah. there was an incident that happened around the same time that was in the news about this group of boys who, um, filmed this drowning man rather than rescued him and then shared the images on on social media it was just you know a kind of amalgamation of these different things and as much as anything else it was um meant to be a bit dreamlike i mean i was thinking quite a lot about that painting that's in the moma of the sleeping gypsy which is a a kind of dream with a yeah so not really necessarily reality, but like formed by real events, and, uh, thoughts around real, real events. 